Notre Dame Cathedral in the centre of Paris. One of the finest examples of 12th century Gothic architecture and a focal point for tourists the world over. But just a short distance away lies the unassuming back street Rue Gilles Coeur in the Latin Quarter. And here on the left, with the flags outside, is a small four-star hotel, now known as the Relais Hotel de Vieux Paris. But travel back 60 years, and it was then the legendary Beat Hotel. The Beat Hotel was one of the crucibles of 20th century literature, where the American Beats interfaced with the European avant-garde in the late 1950s. The Beat poets Gregory Corso and Allen Ginsberg became established there and were soon joined by William Bowers, who just moved from Tangier. Then finishing off his novel Naked Lunch, Bowers was in one of his most fertile creative phases and in the Beat Hotel he formed an artistic relationship with the painter Brian Geisen. This led to the consciousness altering dream machine and the cut up literary technique used in Boa's subsequent novels, including Soft Machine and Nova Express. And a short distance away from Rue Gilles Coeur lies the bookshop Shakespeare and Company, another legendary hub of 20th century bohemian literary Paris. The original Shakespeare and Company was founded by Sylvia Beach, and in the 1920s and 30s, writers such as Hemingway, Pound and Fitzgerald gathered here and rubbed shoulders with Joyce and Beckett, amongst others. Beach also enabled the publication of Joyce's great novel Ulysses after everyone else had rejected it, establishing a tradition of Parisian first publication of provocative works. Beach's incarnation of Shakespeare and Company featured in the Woody Allen film Midnight in Paris, but it was shut down during the Nazi occupation in 1941. Later, in the mid-1950s, this present incarnation of Shakespeare and Company first appeared, though it was originally named Le Mistral. The proprietor was George Whitman, an expat American of literary leadings, who at the time of filming, 2006, was still alive and active in the bookshop at the age of 92. Back in the 1950s, George and his bookshop were at the centre of that literary scene and he knew Henry Miller and Anais Nin, as well as Samuel Beckett, a perennial presence on the Parisian literary scene. And of course, he knew the Beats. Boas met his new lover Ian Somerville in the bookshop and he used its extensive library to research medical procedures for Naked Lunch. That novel was published shortly by Maurice Girodiard of the Olympia Press whose premises were also nearby. Givaudia had also published difficult transgressive novels such as Beckett's Watt and most notably Vladimir Nabokov's Lolita, and his father had published Henry Miller. So, the Parisian tradition of first realisation of masterpieces continued, and this bookshop lies at its heart. George Whitman died in 2011, just after his 98th birthday, and the bookshop is now run by his daughter, named after Sylvia Beach. As for the Beat Hotel, in its present incarnation, you can stay for around 150 euros per night, and if you ask, they might just give you Boaz's old room. <laughs>